Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 back with another review. So this time, um, you might have remembered in a past video, which I'll link down below, a company called OITTM, uh, who sells through Amazon, had contacted me asking if I wanted to review um, an LED light strip Wi-Fi smart controller. And I've already reviewed that. So they asked me if I wanted to review one of their other products, which is this uh, mini space heater. And um, so it's getting pretty cold here. And I said, you know what, that's probably a good idea uh, because I don't have a little heater that can just sit on top of my desk. Usually my room's pretty cold. And if, you, if you're if you a software programmer or even like if you play instruments or anything where you do delicate stuff with your hands, if these guys get cold, um, it makes it really difficult to you know have any sort of uh, precision or speed with your fingers so definitely having this guy sitting in front of my keyboard will definitely help uh, my little piggy stay warm so I said sure send it over I'll be happy to review it so this is a guy right here it is a powerful mini heater I uh, warm up your space within minutes so we'll see if that is all true and um, there's uh, some specifications as I drop stuff all over my desk there's some specifications on the back um, Basically, it's a 950 watt. That is crazy. That's almost a kilowatt. Wow. Um, 60 hertz, obviously. I live in the U.S. Uh, product size and weight. Uh, this should be pretty small, actually. Um, I was just looking at the pictures online, and it's kind of difficult to gauge the size. Um, but this looks like it's pretty small. So, yeah, um, the I guess the manufacturer of it is RMD Technology Co. Uh, so, anyway, um, we have the basic things, the side up, um, have a glass of wine before you use it um make sure you use an umbrella if it's going to get wet uh recycle it and don't trash it <laughs> so anyway all those may or may not be true anyway uh yeah um so some more features uh apparently it heats up really quickly wide angle so it has one of those rotating oscillating uh motors in it quiet um, so what they call lean down off is basically a, a big problem with these heaters is if you knock them over um, while they're in use, uh, it could be very dangerous in terms of, um, it could set fire or something like that. If you, you know, walk out of the room for a sec or if you fall asleep with this on. So this has a, uh, tilt sensor. So if it gets knocked over, it shuts off. So that's definitely good. No naked fire. Everyone hates naked fire. Um, yeah. Um, as long as it's clothed, if it's wearing a shirt and pants, I'm good with fire, but no naked fire. Um, basically temp fuse, um, it's all digitally controlled and whatnot, so that's uh, protection from overheating and whatnot. And fire resistant, which is probably something good for something that's, uh, you know, possibly getting very hot. So here we have the region, which is USA. So let's just give it a quick open. And right off the bat, we have a little manual. And we'll go and take a look at this in more detail. I'm going to have to give this a try out before I actually give you guys my opinion. Um, this is just sort of an unboxing. And we'll get to that in, in a couple minutes. Anyway, let's just uh, take out the protective foam and slide out the heater itself. And there's nothing else in the box. And wow, this guy's tiny. So that's actually pretty impressive. Uh, almost, what was it, 950 watts in something the size of, you know, something that I can easily hold carry move around as i knock everything off my desk great so anyway um yeah so here we have a uh, swing regular wind soft strong and on off and i'm gonna have to go through and decipher these um, i'm guessing swing means the rotation um soft strong maybe the heating wind is probably you know the fan strength and on off is kind of given given away that's sort of a given um no covered so i'm guessing don't have anything near the front because well probably going to be a fire hazard there's an on off switch uh in addition to the soft on off so that's good having that double protection you can see the fan right inside there maybe maybe not probably not but anyway i can see a large fan that's about the same diameter as the vent holes in here and uh, we can see sort of the ceramic uh, metal substrate for the heating element inside here. And so, yeah, um, I can already see the rotating base here. And luckily, yes, it does have a US plug. So I'm going to plug this in 
play around with it and then give you guys my opinion after uh, I use it for the next few days. So yeah, let me get back to you on that. Okay, so here we are with the uh, the heater unit and I've gone through and I've used this a little bit. It's actually uh, snowing outside, so I thought this would be a good time. Well, it has snowed a couple inches overnight, so it's kind of chilly, so I thought this would be a good time to, uh, to show you guys a demonstration of this, and I have been using this for a little while. Uh, so one thing to note is when you first turn this on, if you've ever used any kind of um, electronic heating device, namely, I've seen this with soldering irons, when you first use them for about like the first half hour or so, it'll give off kind of a slightly burning plastic smell. And that's actually, I believe it's um, some like remnant material that they use to manufacture the heating coils. It'll burn off. So what I would advise is if you get one of these, uh, leave it outside for like half an hour just on uh, so that it can dissipate. Otherwise, you know, it's, you're gonna get some kind of weird chemical smell for the first half hour to hour of runtime. Uh, but after that, it'll clear away and you know, you're not going to, you're not going to notice that it's not permanent. Definitely not. Um, a lot of, a lot of different heating element type devices do that. It's just sort of a remnant of the manufacturing process. Anyway, uh, so we're going to get into this and there we go. Uh, we turn it on and it goes, um, full blast here and you can see the red light comes on, uh, to notify you that it is, um, on heating mode and pretty much right now it really kicked in in terms of the heat so you saw that it only took about like 10 seconds maybe not even if that uh, to get up to heat and it is definitely feeling toasty uh, the air cone I can feel is about you know something like uh, maybe 30 degrees 35 degrees in terms of the heat spread it's fairly directional um, and it feels really nice especially my hands are kind of cold it's uh, you know, early morning here. And anyway, we can uh, switch to uh, regular wind, which will just turn off the heating elements. And this will just act as a regular fan. Um, let's just, uh, let's see, we can go to, if we hit soft strong, we can uh, change the intensity. You can see the intensity of the LED will slightly change. This is uh, strong, so it's, it's on high basically. And this is really blasting me. <laughs> So we're going to turn it down a little lower and obviously if you hit the swing button, which is the far left button here, it will start rotating. So anyway, um, yeah, this is actually really warm for how small it is, um, which is pretty cool. This is perfect for um, if you're at a desk and you're typing on a keyboard. Usually my hands get really cold, uh, you know, in the dead of winter, and it's really difficult to type, or if you're a musician and you play instruments, it's uh, difficult to do that. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, a safety feature that they have, which I think is really cool, is if you accidentally knock it over, if it goes beyond a certain um, angle, you'll just hear it just clicked. Um, and you can see the light turned off. The fan will stay on to, so if it, if it did tip over, it will keep cooling the uh, coil so that it'll cool down faster and eventually it will shut off uh, just so that it doesn't start a fire or anything like that. Um, there we go. And so now it's perfectly safe. It's just a little bit warm to the touch on the grill, but yeah, you don't want to be touching this area in general while it's on. Anyway, we can turn it back on. And yeah, that is definitely really nice. Gonna turn it on strong just to uh, see how it feels. But yeah, definitely, um, this is a very neat for its size. I'm, I'm kind of surprised how, how much air it puts out, and uh, especially on high. Um, this would definitely be good for like kind of a small room, a personal heater. I wouldn't say a very large room. Um, you know, it, it, it'll probably do okay if you put it on uh, the oscillation mode, but Definitely, if you're um, living in like a, an apartment or something like that, wow, that's a little bit too hot now. <laughs> uh, you want to put this a little bit further away from you, otherwise, you know, it's going to get a little bit too toasty there. For its price, I believe it was listed somewhere around $40 or $50. Um, I would say that it, it the feature set is kind of indicative of that price. Um, definitely has, uh, has useful safety features. Let me just turn this off for a second. 
it's going to continue uh, cooling while it shuts off. But yeah, we're going to swing it around. You can definitely see, um, if you put your hands here, you can definitely feel the airflow. Uh, it actually looks kind of somewhat similar to like a PC fan, a uh, computer fan in the back there. Um, there we go, it just turned off finally. Um, you can hear that everything's controlled via relay, so let me just shut this off in the back now. Um, so when it turns on and off the heating elements, uh, you can hear a relay click uh, on and off there. And so, yeah, um, definitely feels like it's built well. Uh, the sides, after running it for a while, I ran it for like an hour the other day, the sides don't really get, they get warm but not hot to the touch. Um, so that was one of the things I was worried about um, because this is a plastic construction body that if the entire unit gets hot then you know it could actually catch fire or melt or do something else horrible but yeah it's uh, pretty well designed from what I can tell um, it's not gonna you know the only place that gets really hot is this front grill area which you got to be careful about touching uh, other than that I, I really like this LED indicator at the top it'll it gives you easy notification of what mode it's in and uh, whether it's on high or, or low. This is actually actually a really good uh, time for me to get one of these because it's it's snowing outside and whatnot. Um, we're starting to get more and more snowfall, and you know as I'm shoveling by hand, even with gloves, my hands get freezing cold. So sometimes I gotta run inside to uh, heat them up. So I can just pop this on in within 10 seconds if I put it on high it'll get up to heat and I just put my hands in front of it for a minute or so to, to warm them up so that I don't get frostbite. But yeah, definitely uh, this is an awesome product. I would definitely give this a thumbs up, two thumbs up. Um, and I'd like to thank OITTM for uh, sending me this uh, for review. And so yeah, if you guys are interested in buying one of these, um, I'll put links and information down below to their Amazon webpage for this uh, product listing. And yeah, um, if you guys uh, want any more details or if you have any uh, lingering questions, put them down below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And uh, as of right now, I'm going to you know, warm up a little bit more. So I will see you guys uh, later. Let me just turn this guy on and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.